Hello there and welcome. So we're into mission seven, which is in Hong Kong uh, again. Uh, we were in Hong Kong a couple of missions ago. So we, before we start the mission, uh, we'll just check on the research. The R mods are almost finished and the Electro Mace will be finished after a couple of days as well. So probably after the next mission. Uh, so I'm reducing the expenditure for that. Um, however, if you have equalized, you'll notice that it didn't put auto correct. Auto correct? Uh, auto research uh, on. So once those items finish researching, they will not select another one. Uh, so yeah, you can see there, arm two mods almost finished. But uh, that was a mistake. I should have really uh, put on auto research. Uh, so that it will just start researching another item automatically once one finishes. Uh, sell the electron bases because uh, we can pick up a couple more in this mission and then make for a tidy sum. So the goal of this mission is to persuade an enemy agent. Uh, there are some enemy agents here. You don't need to persuade them, however, so we just shoot them. Long range rifles are pretty effective for this. So be prepared for a fight as soon as the level starts, as you can see. Uh, putting on the blue bars at the start is a useful idea, uh, because then as soon as your agents get attacked, they will just automatically fire back. And this can be very useful because it means that you don't have to manually target every enemy. In fact, it's sometimes better to just switch back and forth between agents and letting them automatically shoot targets instead of having to uh, wave the cursor over the target and then click the button. It's much more efficient to just let the agents shoot them. Uh, so there are a couple of cars here, as you can see there, uh, that have enemies in them and you want to get rid of them before you do anything else. So that's why I'm just staying around here. Long range rifles are pretty effective against cars as you can see. So before we go and persuade the enemy agent, we need to persuade quite a lot of civilians first uh, to make sure that our Persuadertron has enough power in it to convert the agent. And before I start persuading all those civilians, however, uh, you want to get rid of all of the enemies uh, that are milling around uh, this area. Uh, because if they start shooting all your civilians, your civilian army, then you'll have to start all over again and persuade a new army. Police officer. So I've taken out one of the cars, but there's another car which is a police car, uh, which seems to have some difficulty locating. There's the enemy agent in that compound. Now we need a vehicle to get to him. Uh, there is one, uh, which was shown in the intelligence report that you can purchase at the start of the level. So. Start persuading the civilians because um, I can't find the other police car at the moment. But once you start persuading a few civilians, then it will make an appearance and start gunning, gunning them all down. So, if you can't find the car, then you may want to just persuade a few civilians so that uh, the car comes out of hiding, so to speak. There are quite a few, quite a few civilians built up now. They will pick up weapons. 
but uh, they're not very useful fighting because they have no armor, they have no shields, they will just die immediately. There are some armed guards in this car park where the vehicle is. There is a part of the car that we need, but you can persuade them if you just turn on your super shield and rush them. Then we can usually get them. I think uh, I wasn't able to persuade that guy because I had run out of weapon energy. Ah, there's the police, finally showing up. So if you get in the car, then you can stay away from your civilian army. So if police or whoever comes out to shoot you, there's the police car, finally. But it's nowhere near my civilian army, although now it is. Yeah, you can see there. The police have no mercy for persuaded civilians. It just guns them straight down, like in a drive-by shooting. So, uh, cops in Syndicate Wars, not too big on serving the public. So we're not going to stand for that, just take out the police. Because they seem to be just as murderous as everybody else. So now we have to go and persuade a whole bunch of new civilians. Uh, but there's plenty milling around that you can get. So I think we just need a few more. Couple over here. Yep. Yeah, that should be enough. So, I will get back in the car. A few more stragglers around here we can get hold of. All wearing the same clothes. Not many fashion shops in Hong Kong, I guess. There's my civilian army, wandering towards the car. Yeah, and wandering straight in front of it. There's the big screen where you can see video clips. 2000 AD, Ghost in the Shell plays in there as well. So, we'll persuade the agent and and we just need to get out of there because as soon as we persuade him uh, a global uh, satellite strike is called in which will take out the gate and the bridge so you want to make sure you're across the bridge before the bombs start falling there goes the bridge yeah. I make a mistake there, I thought I was far enough away from the blasts, but I clearly wasn't. It took out the whole building as well, and very nearly took out my car. So, and there's some enemy agents waiting back there. So we want to get rid of them quickly because I don't have much car energy left. Thankfully I've got the long range rifles, so it's not too much of a problem. And then we just need to get our agent back to the end, and it's finished. And we can actually select that agent to use in subsequent missions. There we go.